Hey guys, welcome back. You're still watching Trading R on CNBC TV 18. For the market, it is quite flat, around 15 points in the red as we speak. It is the mid-cap index where you're seeing a bunch of the gains come through right now. So it is four tenths of a percent higher on the mid-cap index and the Nifty Bank also uh, looking quite flat, around 40 points in the red. So it's a good time to get your technical check on this market. Mitesh Thakkar joins us now. Mitesh, good morning and thanks for joining us. So, I mean, it looks quite flat right now. Of course, the mid-cap index is holding up, but on the Nifty, we're seeing a cut of around, uh, around 20 points right now. Very flat. Take us through how you would approach it today. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. I think my understanding is that market is now entered something of a contraction kind of a zone when you will see consolidation. Uh, most likely between 17, 750, 800 on the upside, about 17, 400, 420 uh, on the downside, which is the 20-day exponential moving average area. So I think broadly it is a market which will consolidate and try to absorb and consolidate the gains which we have seen for the last uh, one month or so. And then, you know, uh, once this consolidation is over, then I think you will see some kind of a breakout on the upside. My bias is on the positive side looking at the medium term charts. Having said that, in the short term, I have one buy and one sell as a trading idea. Uh, Delta Corp is breaking out with volume. So that's a buy with a stop at 211.5 for targets of 225. And when GC is slightly looking negative with intraday indicators turning uh, on, the, on the negative side, there's a sell with a stop at about 135 half for targets of 126. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, joining in, Mitesh. Uh, let's move on. So, as tell CNBC TV 18 that a number of bids have been received for the minority stake in NTPC's green energy arm. Abhimanyu is joining us to fill us in with more details. Abhimanyu. Well, ArcelorMittal, Brookfield, Canadian Pension Fund, NIF uh, are among the bidders uh, uh, as far as the 13 bids are concerned for NTPC's Green Energy Stake Sale. It remains to be seen how these bids will be considered and uh, what will be the amount of stake which will be divested as, uh, as NTPC Green Energy remains open to raising up to rupees 2,000 crores as equity and uh, remains open to stake sale between 5% to 26%. Also, uh, NTPC is looking forward uh, for listing of various of its subsidiaries, be it NIPCO or NVVN. Uh, also, NTPC is looking at uh, the possibility of uh, selling off its non-core assets, particularly in the fertilizer domain. Uh, NTPC, uh, what sources have indicated that NTPC is not going to launch any greenfield uh, co coal thermal power plant. However, it's also not going to close down any thermal power plant uh, more than two, uh, two th 200 megawatt capacity. Uh, it remains to be seen what is going to be the status of the bids for NTPC Green Energy since uh, the, the subsidiary of NTPC is looking forward to raise money as part of this exercise. All right, Abhimanyu, thanks very much for that. Let's also focus on BEL, Bharat Electronics. The stock is buzzing after a bullish call that has come through from City, where they have raised their target price on the stock. Vahishta is here with the details. Vahishta. Hi, thanks for that. Yes, that's right. City has released a report on Bharat Electronics and they have a buy rating on the stock. The target price has been raised to 356 rupees per share from earlier of 342 rupees. They say that the company continues to benefit from strong structural tailwinds in, in defense manufacturing. The FI23 prospects also continue to remain healthy and the company reiterates 15% revenue growth and 21 to 23 percent margin target so the medium term outlook continues to remain robust the, com the company continues to see held or order wins opportunities in the industry and they are expanding footprints in allied non-defense areas and uh, defense exports city says that the company has been reasonably valued at current levels all right, Vaisha, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details. So that is on BEL. With that, we're going to get into a short break. But up next, we're going to discuss some key global market cues to track. So stay tuned. We'll get you more details when we come back.